Hey guys, it's Megan, and today I'm finally back with another Create This Book video. I'm sorry it's been so long since I've done one of these. I stop doing them every week for a few reasons, the main one being that these videos take a long time, and most of you seem to like my more original content, like sketchbook and notebook ideas, better. It seemed like every other video that I was doing was on Create This Book, and I wanted to work on more personal projects and establishing my own identity if that makes sense. But don't worry, I'm still determined to finish this book, and I'll be posting these videos once or twice a month from now on. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. The first page that I decided to do this week says to create a page of stripes. I was really stuck on what to do for this page for a while, and I didn't really want to do anything predictable like a zebra or something, because I already did that in my rec this journal, and I have no idea why this popped into my head, but I randomly remembered those Frosted Flakes commercials that played when I was little, and they had a campaign with the slogan, Earn Your Stripes, that began in 2004. I'll link some of the commercials that I remember in the description box. Since then, they've changed the campaign to Show Your Stripes, and come to think of it, I haven't seen a Frosted Flakes commercial in quite a while, probably because I don't spend much time watching Disney or Nickelodeon anymore. So for this page, I decided to draw the Frosted Flakes mascot, Tony the Tiger. When I was looking for the old commercials, I learned that Frosted Flakes have different names in other countries. Like for example, in the UK they're called Frosties. They have more names in other countries that I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce, but vote in the card if you like Frosted Flakes. I colored in Tony the Tiger using Crayola colored pencils, and I attempted to do a little bit of shading, but I'm not sure how successful I was with that. Then I drew stripes for the background using a ruler, and I filled them in with some blue acrylic paint, since that's the color of the Frosted Flakes box. I put white paint in between the blue since you could kind of see the other page behind it, and I used washi tape this time to try and make the lines a little bit straighter. I fixed up any of the remaining stripes with my blue Posca pen. I filled in part of the instructions with a purple paint pen to follow my rule of adding purple on every page. Then I attached my drawing of Tony to the page with a glue stick, and I wrote Earn Your Stripes on the left side of the page with an orange Posca pen. Since you could kind of see the stripes behind Tony's stomach, I painted over it with some white acrylic paint. Then I added the date with an orange Posca pen to follow the second part of my rule, and here's how the finished page turned out. I feel like it's kind of missing something, but I'm not quite sure what. But at the same time, I feel like it's okay and I'll probably just leave it like it is. The second page I decided to do this week says to create an upside down page. Write or draw something on this page while the book is upside down. I decided to go with a Stranger Things theme for this page, and I drew Will, Eleven, and the Demogorgon in the Upside Down. I went with a really simple cartoon style for Will and Eleven. I messed Will's face up a little bit, but in the end it looked fine. I colored in the drawing with Crayola colored pencils, which reminds me, I finally bought Matte Mod Podge to seal the pages, but I've just been too lazy to do it, and I really should get on that though. The Crayola colored pencils have a harder wax than the Prismacolors, and they tend to transfer over to the opposite page a little bit less, which is why I've been using them in my Create This Book. I honestly haven't watched Stranger Things in so long, I actually got rid of Netflix because they increased the price and I was just using Hulu more anyways, so if you guys have any Hulu recommendations, definitely let me know in the comments. I put my sketchbook behind the left page to make it a more even surface to draw on, since this was towards the back of the book. After everything was colored in, I painted the background using some black acrylic paint, and when that dried, I painted some blue squiggly lines over it. I based this version of the Upside Down off of the inside of a Stranger Things themed loot crate that I got a long time ago. I used my light blue, black, and white Posca pens to add more details to the blue lines, and I used my white Posca pen to add dots in the background. I used a purple Posca pen to add the date and to follow my rule, and here's how the finished page turned out. I don't know what was wrong with me when I drew this, but both of their faces turned out, um, questionable, but I still kind of like it. What's cool about this page is that it's actually printed upside down, so if you were just flipping through the book normally, it would look like this. The third page that I decided to do this week says to create an alien. Imagine what an alien would look like. Draw one here. Try to think outside of the box. The first thing that I did for this page was to paint the background black, 
which I guess really isn't that outside of the box, but don't worry, we're getting to that. So I drew what I'm going to be calling an artsy alien, and the concept behind this is that this is an alien and she comes down to Earth to get art supplies, and she uses those art supplies to decorate her home in space. Maybe, like all of the planets where she lives used to be gray or something, but then she decided to paint them and give them a makeover. I don't know, it's like a really weird idea, but that's just what came into my head and that is what I did. I drew this in my sketchbook because the paper is better quality and I liked the concept that I came up with and I might want to expand on it later. I usually use printer paper to glue drawings into my create this book, but it's not the best for watercolor or alcohol markers and I wanted to use both in this drawing. I used my Arteza and Windsor & Newton markers to color in the alien girl, the spaceship, and her art supplies. I used silver acrylic paint on the top of the ship and in her glasses, then I used watercolor to make a rainbow in the light beam coming down from the spaceship. Since I messed up on the line art a little bit, but I had some black paint left over, I painted the background of this drawing black as well. I photocopied my alien drawing since computer paper is a little bit thinner and my create this book is already getting really thick. I cut it out and pasted it onto the page, and then I realized that I forgot to color in the little circles on the spaceship, so I used my Posca pens for that. I made planets for the background using my Crayola watercolors and a circle stencil. I've been having a lot of fun playing around with paint and watercolors lately, and I definitely want to do more of that. When those dried, I cut them out and pasted them onto the page, and I drew stars in the background with my white Posca pen. I also added the date on the bottom of the page with my Posca pen so that I would follow my rule. So here's how the finished page turned out. I really like it, other than the fact that I messed up on the red watercolor like a lot, and it looked nice at first, but then I accidentally got black paint in it, so I tried to fix it and now it's like not blended with the other colors, but other than that, I really like the concept of this page, and I really want to do more with this character. Speaking of which, what should I name her? Let me know in the comments. And here's a quick look at what I meant when I said that I wanted to expand the character design. I haven't colored this in yet, but I did sketch out an almost full body version of this character. I tried to draw her in a more interesting pose. From the sketch, this could really just be any random girl, which is why I made her skin green. I know that that's a typical thing that people usually associate with aliens, and I might get comments saying like, oh, you didn't think outside the box enough, but I like it, and at the end of the day, that's the most important thing. The last page I worked on this week was a pretty simple one, and it says, create a physical collection of specific objects. Choose one of the following objects to collect on this page. Buttons, feathers, string, or wrappers. I chose wrappers for this page, specifically Dove chocolate wrappers. I really like that these have a little quote inside of each wrapper, plus the chocolate's pretty good too. We had these over Easter at my house, and I made my family save their wrappers for me. I made sure that I didn't use the same quote twice on the page, and come to think of it, this would have worked for the quote page as well, but I do have another idea for that page, which you'll see in the next episode. I cut off the excess foil around the quotes because I wanted to fit as many of them on the page as possible. Then, I just used a glue stick to put them on the page. I still need about six more wrappers to fill up the page, so I'll show you guys that when it's finished. This wasn't a fancy or complicated page at all, but sometimes the simplest pages end up being some of my favorites. Which quote from this page was your favorite? I think that mine would have to be, you are never too old and it is never too late, which is so true. I also kind of like the one that says the magic is in the mess, because if you guys have seen my craft room makeover video, you guys would know I'm a little bit of a mess. So here are today's shoutouts. And I wanted to give a special shout out to Esme Pug. She made a whole video testing out my sketchbook ideas. I'll link her video down below. If you want a shout out in my next video, leave me a comment on my marker organizer video that I posted yesterday, telling me any video suggestions that you have for me. I also wanted to take a second to tell you guys that there is one week left to enter my 100,000 subscriber giveaway. It ends on May 1st and it is in my sketchbook tour video, so I'll link you guys to that video in case you want to check it out. So thank you guys so so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up, and as always make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one, and make sure to follow me on Instagram, it is at WellerMegs, 
And yeah, I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!